I thought I could sell anything. I really thought I'd get my dream. Dreams are dumb. They ruin your life. What? Tell me about it. I'll never be the royal baby. Can I finish my dinner in my room? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go talk to her. No, Lynn, you're still sad about your shoes. I'll, I'll go. All right. <laughs> uh, Tina, can, uh, can we talk? Still got that spaghetti, huh? Yeah. That's good. We'll wash the sheets later. Okay. Look, you are obviously upset. Is is it about your puberty show? Kinda. Do you want to tell me about it? Okay. But if I tell you, then I'm telling you another kid's secret. Do you swear not to tell? I think so. As long as it's not murder. It's not. Good. Well, there's going to be 45 minutes to spin the bottle at Jocelyn's party. Okay. But I got uninvited because now I'm owning nucleosis, the face of anti-kissing. Oh, uh, that sounds bad, yeah. And Mr. Fraud told me I could be the new permanent soloist, but if I do the show tomorrow, no one will ever want to kiss me ever again. Okay, first of all, people will want to kiss you again, Tina. Really? Yep. Boys? Yep. Uh, what do they look like? It's a hypothetical. It's... Tan? Yes, they're tan boys. But not like that orangey self-tan. Nope. Anyway... I know puberty positivity is important to you, and that's good, but if doing this play is making you say something you don't believe in, then maybe y you shouldn't do it. Even if I said I would? Yeah, because whether you kiss anyone or not, you're in charge of your own mouth, who you kiss with it, and what you say with it. And Tina? Are you going to say you have to tell on Jocelyn's party? No, I was going to ask you if you wanted me to get you a handful of ice cream. <laughs>